Some of my favorite buttons are text buttons, just creating a nice little template that you can reuse for anything you like. It can be for an email, if you have like a prompt for ChatGPT, or for social media, your five favorite hashtags, or sharing your YouTube channel, etc. and also for your live stream. There is, of course, a maximum of how many um, characters you can add here. It's 500, which is a lot. What doesn't work properly is adding paragraphs or... Um, so if you press return, like here, let's say I, I write something, Lorem Ipsum, and I press return and I say hello. What happens is it doesn't add the paragraph. So if I would share this in the chat, it thinks, ah, he presses the enter after Lorem Ipsum and the hello is still in my chat window. I have to press it manually. My workaround is the following. I would create a multi-action like this, and then I just add multiple texts here in a row. So I have, this is number one, so I will just spare myself the adding actual text. And now the other one is um, hotkeys. And I can put a hotkey in between. A shift return is the line break, right? So you can add line breaks like, like this. And also copy and pasting buttons is also a nice thing. So I have it once and then I put them in a row. So just combining text and the hotkey or whatever the action is that is in between. You can add two, three, four of them and, and duplicate them. And uh, I don't do it because I never have the time when I do these things live, but name your buttons properly because then you can just reuse them or trigger them anywhere else. That would be my recommendation. I kind of have a, like a multi-line action that is literally just an email signature and it's sort of spread over three lines and um, it, it tends to work in the places that I need it to work. And it, I swear it saved me like years of my life from just typing out that stuff over and over again. It does. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, if you write an email, unless you have like enter sends the message, nothing will happen. But there are so many tools, like Slack, or imagine you want to write something in the YouTube chat, then your, yours wouldn't work anymore because it would send the first line and then do nothing and just paste it in the chat mm. box and th there it is. So having it this way, just in case, it's a fallback. It's a little bit more work, of course, and you have sure. to uh, go through it, but you never know when you need your signature, maybe somewhere else or want to share it with somebody or depends on the use cases. So everything I do in Zoom can also be used like in a live stream. Having the button somewhere makes sense to have. Because there's that. It's not even a plug-in. It's a basic button that is there since ever. But people don't know that it exists and what it does. Because it's just called text. It doesn't have a fancy name and nobody looks these things up 